I always wanted to do that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Uh, our speaker today is Dr. Junmin Kang with the Natural Resources Defense Council. And he's speaking today on a couple subjects related to nuclear power. First being the st spent fuel uh, situation and the d possible dangers from that. I can remember well covering the the uh, Fukushima accident right after the tsunami, how worried people were about the uh, uh, possibility of the spent fuels uh, uh, losing the coolant and, and catching on fire. Fortunately, that didn't happen, and most of the fuel <coughs> in Unit 4 was uh, extracted safely and, and is in s put somewhere else, although right now, the, the main task for decommissioning it is to remove the spent fuel from the units one, two, and three, which is a considerably bigger job because of the irradiation levels in those three reactors. Uh, Dr. Kang is also knowledgeable about uh, North Korea's uh, plutonium and uranium enrichment, and I'm sure he'd be happy to answer questions. Dr. Kang. Thank you. Uh, it's my honor to talk uh, uh, in this uh, uh, press conference, and I'm, uh, my talk is uh, uh, two today. One is about uh, spent fuel full fire uh, that uh, almost had happened in, in, in Fukushima accident, and the other topic is uh, North Korean nuclear weapons program. I, I think uh, many people might show interest in, in North Korean nuclear issue <laughs> rather than spent fuel full fire, but I will. Uh, uh, first, give a talk on uh, spent fuel full fire, or, uh, about uh, uh, about ten minutes, I think. Yeah. Uh, because this, uh, because I'm showing this uh, 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 nuclear power plant uh, in no East Asia, Northeast Asia, because uh, if uh, uh, that kind of uh, accident happened, it would not be confined to just one country; it would affect uh, to other country, neighboring countries. So. Uh, I'm showing this uh, table uh, currently uh, operating in China, 36 nuclear power plant. In South Korea, 25. In Taiwan, six nuclear power plant, something like that. And uh, you know, this uh, map shows that uh, the numbers of uh, nuclear power plants uh, uh, located alongside the, uh, the the sea and. Uh, with uh, South Korea, we have uh, three sites on, on east, north, uh, east coast and one, one in, in uh, west coast. So, uh, and also, uh, uh, the, you know, the uh, Chernobyl accident and also the Fukushima accident. The most important thing is uh, that uh, the the radiation uh, released. Uh, okay, thank you. From the accident, uh, you know, cesium-137. Uh, uh, cesium-137 is a uh, very radiotoxic, uh, high-level uh, radio uh, isotopes that uh, are more than uh, two-thirds of uh, radioactivity. Uh, and uh, you see the uh, uh, more than uh, 100,000 people were evacuated uh, from Chernobyl accident and also uh, Fukushima accident. And uh, this is, uh, I just uh, want to uh, say that uh, the, the criteria of uh, CG-137 is about uh, 0.5 million becquerel per uh, square uh, meter for voluntary relocation. And uh, for compulsory relocation, it's 1.5 megawatt, uh, 1.5 five million uh, acre per square meter. So this criteria would be uh, uh, right, uh, uh, you see the, uh, the those of my result, right? And this is Fukushima accident, the same thing happened. So the, I'm emphasizing the, the hazard of spent fuel because it contains the CG 137 that uh, caused the, the Fukushima and the Chernobyl accident. So usually the, one ton, uh, one ton of, uh, uh, you know, the one PWR uh, discharge uh, spent fuel to 20 tons uh, per year. It contains the cesium-137 uh, equivalent to the, the, 
the radioactivity released from the uh, Chernobyl accident. So you see uh, the, the, the hazard of spent fuel. Uh, this is, uh, uh, okay, I will skip this. So the spent fuel is uh, uh, contained in the pool. And uh, so if uh, we have uh, some problem in cooling uh, function in the spent fuel, then we could meet a very uh, serious problem. So the, if the, the we lost the, uh, if we lost the, the cooling function of a spent fuel pool, then the, the, which is, there would be evaporate and uh, some drainage, or uh, so, uh, so it could uh, lead to the uh, big accident. So this uh, photo shows the uh, spent fuel full uh, zirconium fire. With the water uh, drainage, then you know there would be some fire. And uh, this uh, zirconium fire was uh, well analyzed by uh, US NRC. You know, if uh, cooling of the spent fuel were not re-established, the spent fuel heat up to temperature uh, about 1,000 Celsius degree, then at this uh, temperature, the spent fuel zirconium cladding would begin to react with the air in, in, and uh, it, it uh, catch the fire. Yeah. And uh, it, then the, the, the contained uh, radioactive material would be released to the environment. So, and at the same time, uh, the, the, uh, there, there would be, uh, uh, hydrogen would be produced. So the produced hydrogen would be uh, 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 explored. So this, would, this, region, uh, this uh, accident would be very uh, uh, severe, uh, uh, severe that, uh, when it spent fuel is uh, contained in the high density uh, rare, rather than uh, low density. Uh, the currently, the, the many uh, places of nuclear power plants you know, uh, established the uh, high density uh, spent fuel lag in their spent fuel pool. So this is one of our uh, pool uh, photo. And uh, I don't know some of uh, you know about this. The, the, there was a devil scenario of Fukushima spent fuel pool for number four. Uh, uh, during the, uh, the Fukushima accident, this uh, devil scenario would have would have happened the, because of the the, the loss of uh, uh, water in the spent fuel of uh, uh, unit uh, Fukushima unit four. Now, this is uh, this uh, figure shows the the leakage of the, uh, into the pool, uh, uh, the, excuse me. So this, uh, uh, this line shows the uh, actual, uh, actual uh, drainage if uh, the no, no leakage from the uh, uh, water, uh, no, water was not uh, filled into the uh, sand pool. pool. But uh, this was uh, it's, uh, avoided uh, with a very uh, unexpected, unexpected uh, rock. This this uh, photo shows the the, the unit number uh, four and the, the pool because the unit number four uh, Fukushima reactor was the spent the pu uh, fuel in the core was all moved to a spent fuel uh, pool, so there was no no uh, pool, uh, fuel in the pool, uh, in the core, and the, the water was uh, contained. And then after the Fukushima accident, you know, this uh, sorry, the water was a liquid and in the spent fuel pool. And you, you see that the water uh, drainage. And then the, the water contained in this part was uh, leaked in this uh, spent fuel pool. And this uh, spent fuel was not, uh, was not uh, that accident. Uh, if the water was not added, the, it would have uh, had a fire in, in, in one month. So the, 
the scientists in Princeton University uh, are calculated uh, for this case. So, so the, you see the, the left hand side, this is the actual uh, Fukushima accident happened. You see the, the about uh, 90,000 people were relocated uh, from uh, uh, 1,100 uh, square kilometer. But if the, the full accident happened, then it would happen in, in, in April 9th, 2011. Uh, then the, the actual uh, relocated uh, area would, uh, you know, f about 4,000 square kilometer and uh, 1.6 million people should be evacuated. And uh, if the accident happened, the spent fuel fire happened in, in March 19th, then, you know, uh, 31,000 uh, square kilometer would be uh, evacuated and uh, 35 million people should be evacuated. So this was the so-called uh, uh, devil scenario. But uh, uh, thanks to, you know, the, the good luck in, uh, happened in uh, spent fuel, fuel number four, the, the, this accident was avoided. So I, I did this uh, calculation for South Korean cases. We have a uh, you know, uh, PWR like this number. So I, I choose this uh, quarry number three. It contains the 800 uh, tons of spent fuel. It, it, uh, quarry number three is located uh, uh, where is it? Uh, you, you see the, the here. So it's a, it's a, uh, it's a close to Japan. So this uh, table shows the uh, estimated CG-137 inventory uh, released from spent fuel full fire of uh, Unit 3. The best case is uh, this, one, uh, this case. 75% of uh, contained CG-137 would be released into uh, environment. It's, uh, it's uh, corresponding to uh, 1,600 uh, petabag rare. So we did this calculation. Uh, based on actual uh, weather data on, on January 1st, 2015, uh, for, uh, for a week. You see, the, the <coughs> result would be you know, very, uh, very shocking. You know. Rather than you know, impacting to South Korea, it mostly you know, impacts to Japan side. Uh, so the, the, the accident uh, would really depend on weather data. So this is uh, when we used the, the April 1st, 2015, then uh, the mostly you know, uh, impact to uh, South, South Korea and North Korea and some uh, Chinese and uh, some Russian side. Uh, <coughs> using uh, weather data on September 1st, 2015, you see the, 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 the this, uh, uh, this part of Japan would be impacted and uh, uh, more than half of the uh, South Korean uh, area would be contaminated. So I, I, I summarized the result uh, based on uh, uh, all calculations using uh, actual data for every month. So you see the, 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 the cont uh, contaminate, contaminated area and the evacuated people. You see the, the average is about 9,000 uh, 9, 9, uh, square kilometer evacuated area. Maximum is 54 or uh, uh, scale, uh, thousand uh, square kilometer. The evacuation people is uh, to maximum is, is, is 24 million. But interestingly, for Japan case, it's, uh, it's uh, more than uh, 24 million. It's uh, 28, pili 28 million people would be should be evacuated, and also some uh, area, you know, the among this uh, cont contaminated area, half of them are, are you know are should be evacuated for more than 30 years. So this uh, hy hypothetical spent fuel full fire of uh, Korea 3 would contaminate not only a large part of South Korean soil, up to about uh, half of each area where the space contamination level of uh, CG-137 exceeds uh, 1 million uh, back rail for square meter. And for the huge number of people, up to about 24 million to be relocated but also give a, a big damage to neighboring country uh, uh, like Japan, but depending on weather condition when accident happened. 
So, uh, and uh, also more than half of the contamination area would be uh, remained as an evacuated area at least for three decades if the contamination will not have uh, performed. So this is uh, my recommendation on this, uh, uh, from this uh, calculation. The spent fuel pool, uh, spent fuel, you know, uh, store spent fuel in an open rack storage pool, not dense rack uh, pool. It uh, could reduce the amount of release of CG137 by a factor of about 120s, and also uh, transport spent fuel to dry cask after five years of uh, full cooling. So the, the, the safety of dry cask uh, storage was proven in Fukushima accident. You know, you see the, the you might see the, the this photo. Uh, you know, this is uh, damage uh, spent fuel pool, uh, spent fuel pool. Uh, and this is uh, the, the dry cask uh, stored in uh, uh, Fukushima uh, site. So the spent fuel contained in the uh, dry cask was, uh, was intact. Uh, so this is uh, the end of my f uh, first talk. If you have a question on this, I will uh, answer. But I will uh, uh, continue on. Do you have something you want to say first? Or or just open it to questions now. Oh, uh, then the people that might show more interest in North Korea issues. So I will uh, talk. Do you have some things you want to say now about North Korea? Yes, I can talk. Yeah, okay. I have a uh, little bit here. Well, I questions. What's okay. It? Yeah, uh, now I'm the, my second talk is about North Korean nuclear uh, weapons program. You, you might show more interest in these issues <laughs> rather than spent fuel full fire. <laughs> I have been uh, analyzing this uh, North Korean nuclear weapons program uh, more than uh, 10 years. And uh, so uh, first I'm, I'm, I'm giving you some uh, basic uh, idea on, on, on nuclear weapons and nuclear weapon material. And then I will talk about uh, North Korean nuclear weapons program. Uh, this, uh, you know that the nuclear uh, weapons are, are composed of nuclear materials. Uh, it's uh, just two types. One is plutonium, and the other is HU, high-enriched uranium. So plutonium, you know, some, you know the nuclear energy people uh, some in, in, in Japan or in South Korea, they are saying that the plutonium separated from uh, commercial uh, spent fuel would not be used as a nuclear weapon material, but it's not correct. You know, every plutonium produced from reactors, whether it's a, you know, a dedicated reactor for weapon purpose or a commercial reactor, it, would, it can be used as a nuclear weapon purpose. And uh, HU, highly enriched uranium, is, uh, you know, it, it's mostly the nuclear weapon for weapon purpose, it's 90% uh, uh, in each the uranium 235. So just remember, one is uh, plutonium, the other is uh, highly enriched uranium. So plutonium, this, uh, this size is 6 kilogram of plutonium. You see the, uh, the billiard ball size. This is uh, 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 one bomb was, it was used uh, uh, for uh, Nagasaki bomb. You see that this was, uh, actually, this guy is uh, you know, carried out uh, the, the plutonium, Nagasaki bomb. So you, you can see that the, this uh, plutonium is, uh, can be carried out uh, easily, you know, without uh, some shielding uh, uh, material. About the HU, you know, the, 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 the uranium, natural uranium is uh, composed of 0.9% uh, of uranium-235, that is a fissionable, and the other is uh, uranium-238. So, so this, uh, for weapons purpose or uh, reactor fuel purpose, this uranium-235 should be enriched, like, uh, uh, for example, 3 to 5 percent for uh, nuclear uh, uh, pure purpose, and uh, more than 20 percent is a weapon of usable uh, material. So if you have uh, almost 90 percent of uranium-235 by enriching uranium uh, using uh, centrifuge or uh, laser technology, then you can uh, get uh, weapon uh, HU. 
So this uh, typically there is two types of nuclear fission uh, bomb. One is a uh, uh, gun type little boy uh, dropped in Hiroshima, and the other is a fat man, uh, is explosive device uh, dropped in uh, Nagasaki. You see. So the two types of one is in the gun type is just uh, you know, uh, push uh, half of a uh, uh, fissile material into the half of other other side. This is very simple, and uh, it can be used uh, uh, HU bomb only. You cannot use this uh, device for a uh, plutonium bomb. The plutonium should be you know, used the, the, this explosive device uh, uh, by uh, exploding the, the conventional uh, explosive surrounding the, uh, the plutonium. And uh, this is uh, one, uh, this photo shows the uh, plutonium bomb, uh, the first plutonium bomb tested in the uh, Nevada uh, desert uh, before you know, uh, test, uh, dropping the, to uh, uh, Nagasaki. Because the, the plutonium explosive bomb needs the test. You know, big size. And this is uh, uh, actual uh, Nagasaki uh, bomb implosion device. You see the, this kind. And uh, this is uh, uh, a little bit uh, modernized implosion device. You see that this is, uh, uh, you know, inside there is uh, uh, a plutonium inside, and the other is, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, just co conventional explosives. And uh, you see that this is hydrogen bomb. Uh, hydrogen bomb, the, the, the primary part is the trigger. Uh, I, I will uh, talk about this uh, later because the North Korea was succeeded in, in boosted uh, bomb test at their uh, first test. And uh, if they can squeeze in this uh, boosted bomb, they can make a, a nuclear device very small uh, than uh, can be, uh, can be uh, put on the top of the missile. And also, you, know, you see, the, the, the secondary uh, part is uh, composed of uh, HU and also some uh, lithium and, uh, the, uh, and uh, uh, other material. Maybe you remember that you know, there, there was some, uh, some uh, news that North Korea wanted to uh, uh, sell lithium sheets uh, from the internet. That shows that you know, if they have uh, sufficient uh, lithium sheet, that, that shows that they have a capability to make uh, the secondary part. Because this part is uh, largely uh, composed of uh, lithium-6 and HU. So, uh, and also this table shows the, 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 you know, how much uh, plutonium needed to make uh, one uh, bomb. Usually uh, the first generation was uh, five to six kilogram, five to six kilogram of plutonium can make uh, one bomb. And also the, you know, the, from gun type, is uh, 50 to 60 kilograms of uh, HU was necessary. But HU also can be used uh, at, uh, as a material for explosive device. In that case, the, this uh, uh, amount, should, uh, amount would be uh, reduced to half. Okay? So about just 20 kilograms of HU can, uh, can be used uh, uh, to make uh, uh, one bomb. Uh, this is uh, uh, the fireball of uh, nuclear explosion. You see the uh, this photo was taken uh, uh, for the uh, uh, first uh, uh, nuclear test uh, in Nevada in 1945. You see the the, the you know the big big fireball shot. The, you know this is nuclear weapon effect. People uh, dropping uh, Hiroshima and after Hiroshima. You see the the, the this is uh, before uh, Nagasaki and after Nagasaki. So now I'm talking about the North Korea's nuclear facility. You, you, you see the, the Yongbyon, uh, you know, there is a Yongbyon uh, nuclear complex uh, that uh, uh, have uh, reactors and reprocessing facilities and enrichment facilities and many things located in Yongbyon. But Yongbyon, uh, there is no, uh, uh, no facility for nuclear weapons. <laughs> so nuclear weapons would be uh, fabricated in other places. We don't know about that. And, uh, this is Yongbyon, uh, a photo of Yongbyon uh, facility. Five megawatt reactors, uh, and also uh, the, in, in nearby, the South, uh, North Korea uh, has uh, trying to build uh, experimental light of reactors. And this is reprocessing facility in, at Yongbyon site. It can, uh, so about uh, this is a five megawatt reactor, 
it can produce a uh, uh, plutonium uh, five kilogram per year. So it, if it operates uh, normally for one year, then it can produce uh, one bomb worth of plutonium. Then the, and the spent fuel is uh, reprocessed at this uh, uh, reprocessing facility at Yangbyon uh, and uh, separate plutonium. And uh, also there is a nuclear fuel fabrication facility at Yangbyon. Uh, and uh, in this site, uh, you know, there is uh, one uh, uranium enrichment facility. You see the, this, this, this uh, building contains the enrichment uh, facility, centrifuges. So this uh, photo or, or the, uh, uh, when uh, Dr. Sik Hacker of uh, Stanford University visited uh, Yangbyon in, in November 2000, uh, uh, October 2011, I don't know, November 2010, he, he, he saw the, the, this facility that, uh, include, that contains the uh, centrifuges for uh, enrichment, uranium. This, so this centrifuge uh, facility contains uh, 2,000 centrifuges, P2 type, 2,000 uh, P2 type centrifuges, and it could uh, produce uh, 40 kilograms of uh, weapons HU per year. And uh, it, this facility was, uh, 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 the capacity of this facility was uh, recently uh, uh, increased twice, so now it can produce eight kilogram, eight zero kilogram of uh, weapons grade HU every year. So you, you see the P2 type centrifuge, this is, uh, you know, uh, ex uh, Iran president. This, uh, this is the uh, centrifuge. It's, the gas centrifuge is, you know, this, I will show The important part is this, uh, this rotor. So I, I'm, I'm talking about the North Korea can produce this uh, rotor for centrifuges. Okay. To make this, uh, uh, the rot of the centrifuge, you see the, uh, you know, that from steel ingot to, uh, to uh, forge and, uh, uh, you know, this uh, flow forming and uh, finally you got uh, the rotor. And you see the, this uh, photo. This is uh, the plant for moraging steel and the uh, forging process. You see the, the, this guy, the, uh, Kim Jong-un. And uh, this part is a hot piece meal. Hot piece meal is in the, you know, this, this process. So this machine is uh, for hot piece meal. And uh, you know, the, this is a flow forming machine. Flow forming machine is uh, you know, uh, to produce the, this uh, lot from uh, uh, this uh, material. So th they, you know, because they cannot make uh, this uh, very, uh, this is very complicated uh, machine that can, that cannot North Korea cannot uh, produce uh, make, fabricate, and they imported this uh, according to uh, Chinese uh, nuclear expert. Uh, North Korea imported this machine from uh, Spain. I don't know how did how did they do. And also, this was not just uh, Kim Jong Un. You know, you see the, the this uh, Kim Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Il also you know produced this uh, uh, machine. This is all the flow uh, forming machine, you see? So this, this Kim Jong-il, you see, you see the, this part? This is the rotor of the centrifuge. So they, uh, from Kim Jong-il, you know, they, they try to make a centrifuge for uh, uranium enrichment uh, to make a HU for nuclear weapons. Are you about ready for questions? Oh, I, I see. No, no, no. I, I'm talking more, more. Okay. 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 I will skip this. Uh, so, so about the plutonium store, North Korea. Uh, it, the Dr. C. Hacker estimated about 20 to 40 kilogram of uh, uh, plutonium store would be uh, remained in, in North Korea, and also a, about HEU. You know, they they are saying. The current uh, uh, enrichment facility in Yangbyon might produce uh, uh, 80, the less than 100 kilogram of uh, uh, HU per year. But they, uh, the, the spec, they suspect that uh, one more clandestine uh, spent, uh, enrichment facility would be located in somewhere in, in North Korea. So 
we can assume that uh, more than 100, to, uh, less than 200 uh, uh, HU would be produced for a year by no, uh, from North Korea. And this is about nuclear test. They did a nuclear test five times from uh, uh, October 2006 till September uh, 2006. You see the, the size of the, the, the earthquake and also the, you see the explosive yield. Uh, from one kiloton TNT uh, correspond, uh, that means the uh, 1,000 TNT to uh, you know, 12,000 TNT. You, uh, if you consider the, the Hiroshima, Hiroshima was uh, about 16,000 ton TNT uh, scale. So now North Korea almost have the, you know, the similar size of uh, uh, nuclear weapons uh, uh, compared to uh, uh, Hiroshima. And uh, so this was uh, this uh, seismic signal was uh, taken by uh, China, China. And also, we know that, uh, somebody said that how to how do we know that the North Korea would use the uh, plutonium bomb or uh, HU bomb if we catch uh, the genome uh, uh, from the air after uh, nuclear test? Then we can know uh, the the from the uh, genome isotope uh, composition, we can uh, differentiate the uh, plutonium bomb or HU bomb. North Korea tests it, but if we uh, catch the plume genome flume after the two days right then we cannot uh, we cannot know the, the and also the, about the miniaturization of hydrogen bomb North Korea this was you know just uh, just nonsense according to very uh, famous uh, Frank van Pair professor at Princeton University and uh, dr. Tom Cochrane on the S uh, uh, and also the uh, dr. T Hacker they all you know uh, they this was nonsense. But they have uh, some, uh, uh, some, some type of boosted bomb, not this type. And uh, uh, this is my, uh, almost my uh, final presentation. If North Korea attacks Seoul uh, with a uh, nuclear bomb, with uh, just a uh, uh, Hiroshima bomb uh, uh, size, then you, know, you see the, the, the if boosted in ground, uh, on the ground, then one point, uh, about 1.3 million people would be die. If, if it's uh, detonated, uh, uh, it's uh, explosive on the, you know, 100 meters per in the air, then it, it's uh, 40, uh, 440,000 uh, people would die. And uh, if it deposited uh, uh, 500 foot height. You can move on to questions pretty soon. Okay, this is uh, my last one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, more than uh, 600,000 people would die. Thank you very much. <laughs> We'll now can open it up for questions. And I think I'll get the ball rolling with one myself. I, I couldn't, Dr. Kang, I couldn't read all your graphics, but uh, do you know whether there's been a confirmed test of a, of a uranium, and ra uranium bomb? I know that the first two or three were generally considered plutonium bo bombs, but uh, the latter two, haven't had much leakage to, out of this test site to uh, determine. Yes, uh, definitely they, you know, the first and second was, uh, you, you know, they used uh, plutonium. But uh, uh, from third, you know, they were saying that they used uh, the various material. So some experts uh, uh, speculate that, uh, you know, uh, it, at the third of test, the North Korea might use the composite, uh, you know, plut it's a combination of plutonium and HU. And then, you know, because of lack of the, the, the plutonium stocks and also they, they produce the HU uh, significantly, then, then the fourth and fifth uh, would be uh, no, uh, HU bomb. Fourth and fifth are yes. uranium? Yeah, using HU, uranium bomb. Yes, sir. <coughs> Uh, Dr. Kang, uh, my name is Hiroki Fujita. Yeah. I'm freelance journalist uh, and also a member of the uh, journalist member of the uh, Scientists for Accurate Radiation Information. Mm -hmm. uh, th this is something uh, never discussed among the uh, journalists or the, the news report, but um, 
uh, th th this is a hypothetical, but what, what if a North Korea launched a, a nuclear missile and we successfully, hooray, you know, shot down uh, most of those uh, nuclear missiles mm -hmm. above New York shore. What would happen? Are there any sort of contaminated debris, you know, rain, fall, or uh, the explosion up in there just above the Iraq show? What, would, what, what kind of effect does it have? Well, I, have I have no idea yeah. what would happen. If you see the the, the you know the structure of uh, 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 explosive, uh, uh, nuclear explosive, you know there uh, uh, detonation is uh, you know started here. Okay, so if uh, you you know uh, by missile, it, if this part is uh, 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 cut there some damage, it would not explode. The, the the nuclear explosion would not be happened. Just yeah yeah just uh, physically. Uh, Physically damaged, but no nuclear explosion. That's it. Next question, please. Peter. It's uh, Peter Langan at Asia Times. I have a couple of questions, if I may. Uh, first, about the um, spent fuel pool. Could you um, tell us what accident did you actually um, postulate as happening at Corrie 3? What type of accident that um, in your scenario? Um, and regarding the um, North Korean, Korean uh, nuclear program, is there any evidence at all that you know of that there's been any uh, nuclear accidents in North Korea at their nuclear facilities? Thank you. Uh, about my uh, simulation on Kori uh, Unit 3 uh, uh, spent fuel for fire, it is uh, absolutely uh, uh, based on a hypothetical uh, uh, scenario. A hypothetical scenario, you know, based on the, the the, if we uh, have uh, some uh, the loss of cooling function or loss of uh, coolant, then you know you see that if you, the if the water on the pool is uh, uh, drained and uh, you know the spent fuel is uh, is on the air, then the spent fuel because of the heat released from the, uh, from the spent fuel is very hot and uh, it you know it could cause the uh, Catch a uh, zirconium uh, fire. Okay, the zirconium fire is, a, uh, is uh, the melt the uh, span uh, span pure uh, uh, cladding, and uh, so cesium one thirty seven and the other uh, uh, fission gas uh, contained in the span pure would be released to the environment. Okay, this was uh, this was uh, based on uh, U.S. NRC analysis. The Sorry, I understand that what you mean by the spent fuel accident. Yeah. yeah. But in the, the South Korean case, what causes it? In Japan, it was the Fukushima earthquake and tsunami. In Korea, what do you imagine caused this? Oh, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, the, the cause might be, you know, terror or sabotage or, you know, North Korean nuclear, or, uh, North Korean missile uh, attack, or many things would be uh, conceivable. And about uh, your question on North Korea. Oh, no. I, I haven't heard uh, some uh, serious uh, uh, accident uh, happened in North Korea so far, and also if you know the, there if there is some uh, uh, nuclear accident and in Yongbyon, for example, a five megawatt reactor or other uh, experimental right wall reactor, because the 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 source term of radioactivity is uh, small compared to commercial reactors, so the the impact of the release of radioactivity would not be impact to other country. It would be confined in, within a small area. 
So uh, anyway, I, I, I haven't heard about uh, some significant uh, nuclear accident. But uh, Dr. Thick Hacker, you know, really concerned about that because uh, if the North Korea have uh, more material, nuclear material and uh, nuclear weapons, and uh, they need to seriously consider about the safety of, uh, you know, uh, nuclear weapons. But at the moment, uh, there was no accident. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Hello, my name is Tomoko Kurokawa from Tokyo Broadcasting System. Um, I have a question about the notice of um, quant um, how do you calculate uh, on the about the notice quantity of the plutonium and hydrogen uranium for the uh, for the next test? Oh, next test. Uh, no, no, no. Um, just generally, how generally. how much uh, how much of those uh, fossil materials do, do the North Korea is, um, does the North Korea possess? Uh, yeah, about the uh, plutonium store, you know that the they the the only uh, you know the plutonium source is in you know, a five megawatt reactor. It can uh, a five megawatt reactor can produce plutonium uh, for t up to five kilogram per year. So if they operate the uh, reactor for one year, then they can produce five pr five kilogram of plutonium to one bar more. So they, at the moment, they have, you know, the country they have a limited uh, uh, plutonium store. It, uh, and we, we, we uh, how much plutonium they produce so far, we, we would know, right, if we take some uh, sampling from a five melt reactor, uh, uh, the moderate, carbon moderate. But uh, mostly the, the people saying, you know, 20 kilogram for 40 kilogram is based on their, you know, the calculation based on some uh, assumption of uh, operation time and uh, that kind of thing. But it uh, still needs to be uh, verified. But anyway, uh, you know, it, uh, plutonium produced so far uh, by North Korea can be uh, verified. But about HU, HU, there is no way you know, to verify how much plutonium uh, North Korea produces so far. Or even if they, you know, the high, they hide some you know, amount of plutonium when they, you know, uh, uh, there is some verification. And also the, the HU uh, centrifuge program is very you know, uh, easy to hide. Uh, so it is really difficult to find out uh, where the clandestine HU uh, centrifuge program is uh, located. Anyway, uh, so that at the moment, the, the, the Dr. Thick Hacker, uh, according to recent uh, 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 meeting, uh, he assumed that uh, no, about 20, 200 to 450 kilograms of HU uh, North Korea might have, something like that. But this is very uncertain you know, at the moment because we don't know where is the, you know, the how much capacity of HU uh, centrifuge facility is uh, in, in, in other places than uh, uh, Yongbyon. I'd like to ask another question myself. You know, Japan has accumulated tons of plutonium from its civilian uh, program, enough to build some, say, literally hundreds or thousands of atomic bombs. But my question is, since they come from a civilian source, wouldn't they be too contaminated with uh, other isotopes like plutonium-240 to make a, a reliable atomic bomb? So you see that this is <laughs> what I'm saying. You know? The, the the plutonium separated from uh, you know spent fuel uh, discharged from commercial reactors is usually reactor grade plutonium. You know so plutonium is composed of plutonium uh, 238 to 242. So mostly you know uh, 239 is a large uh, uh, dominant. But you know this is so some some you know uh, Japanese uh, nuclear uh, expert. 
and also some South Korean nuclear expert say that this reactor grade plutonium can be cannot be used. Like uh, you know, uh, uh, Japanese uh, uh, huge stocks of uh, plutonium cannot be uh, used uh, nuclear weapon. That's not correct. You know, the Japanese uh, separated plutonium almost 49 tons. Uh, you know, in in UK and France and uh, uh, in in Japan can be used uh, as a nuclear weapon uh, purpose. Yes, sir. Yes, Peter. Oh, you have a question? Oh. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kang. My name is uh, Thomas Sullivan. I'm a guest here. Um, I was wondering if you could comment. There's a lot of speculation that maybe the sixth uh, nuclear test is imminent. I, I think you've just come from Korea. I was just wondering if you could comment on the, on the timing of that. And my second question is just if the international community tried to dismantle North Korea's nuclear program, how, how do you think they should go about that? Uh, I mean, unilateral, unilaterally try to dismantle uh, the North Korean program. I mean, obviously, we've seen the situation with Iran. Um, thank you. Uh, frankly speaking, I don't know about when they try to test the, the, the nuclear, uh, uh, the, the, the sixth nuclear test. I don't know about that. They, it depends on you know, uh, some political situation. But uh, about technical point of view, you know, uh, uh, we say we, ass we assume that you know this uh, two was used uh, plutonium bomb, a uh, plutonium, and the third uh, might be uh, used uh, plutonium and uh, HU uh, compo uh, composition, and the uh, fourth and fifth uh, used uh, uh, HU, uh, but in this case, you know, they used uh, a boosted bomb, you know. So they need, they might need technically uh, one or two uh, nuclear tests more to uh, uh, complete, you know, their, you know, to make a most most stable uh, small, you know, uh, nuclear uh, uh, nuclear bomb. So this is my uh, just speculation. If they do test again, then they might. Uh, uh, test uh, two or three, uh, uh, two two or three uh, explosives at the same time, you know, to have uh, to complete you know their test, and then they would stop the nuclear test, and they would you know uh, they would uh, announce that they do not they they do not you know they would not uh, test again something like that, but that that means you know they uh, they they messed the, their uh, nuclear weapons. Okay, and then they they would produce a uh, uh, most uh, most efficient uh, small uh, miniaturized bomb for their uh, arsenal. On that. Okay, but how? Uh, about the, uh, the dismantling. dismantling. Yeah. So here, you know, the, we only know that there's the nuclear facility in Yangbyeon reactors. Pure fabrication facilities, enrichment facilities, and also uh, reprocessing facility here, but we don't know the uh, you know the, the clandestine uh, enrichment facilities, and also we don't know where is the the, the nuclear weapon facility, nuclear weapon fabrication facilities. Everything is uncertain. So uh, and. Uh, well, frankly speaking, uh, the, uh, uh, I don't think that North Korea would give up a uh, nuclear weapon uh, for the time being until you know, uh, they feel safe. Or, or I don't know about that. It, this is very uh, political. Uh, uh, they, need, uh, they need some political you know, uh, uh, analysis on this issue. And if, you know, if they, they, anyway, if they you know, made uh, some decision on, 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 on this uh, uh, giving up nuclear uh, uh, program, then uh, uh, you know we are ready, you know, to uh, dismantle uh, many nuclear facilities in Yangbyeon and other facility, and we have uh, some plan to convert the nuclear scientists to other, you know, uh, other jobs, something like that. I I, I don't know if this is uh, <laughs> uh, sufficient uh, for your question. Yeah. Peter, you had a question. Yeah. Is 
just a couple of other points to clarify. You, uh, on the spent fuel pool, uh, Dr. Kang, you said, according to your diagrams, um, th there was the leakage into the spent fuel pool from what looked like the uh, reactor area. Was that leakage caused by, by what exactly? Was it a part of the earthquake damage that that allowed that to happen, if you could just clarify that. The other point is, you mentioned the rotor machine that a, a yeah. Chinese scientist yeah. had said was imported from Spain. Uh, two questions, was that the actual machine for manufacturing the rotors? And also, do you na know the name of the company in Spain? And the final question was the biggest nuclear, uh, commercial nuclear expansion right now in the world is in China. And what is the view in the nuclear community nucle amongst nuclear scientists about safety levels uh, in China? Thank you. Uh, this part, frankly speaking, I don't know what was the, the main uh, you know, cause you know, to uh, leak the, the spent pure uh, fuel. But it definitely, you know, according to this, uh, uh, if, you, if you see that the, you know, the, this figure, you see, there should be you know, some uh, uh, leakage, drainage of the pool, because the, very fast, you know. If, if we consider evaporation, then the time would be more longer than, uh, like, not like this, you know, like something like that, okay? So this would be your uh, uh, answer to your first question. And the, well, the second question, what was that? What was that? I just forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Second. About Spain. Oh, Spain. Yeah, yeah, right. We don't know. How did you know North Korea import this uh, uh, CNC machine from uh, North Korea, uh, Spain? Because this was a uh, uh, band uh, to be imported to North Korea by uh, uh, export control. Anyway, the North Korea, you know, smuggled this uh, machine, you know, and then they, you know, uh, changed this uh, to produce a rotor of centrifuge. So now we assume that you know North Korea is now uh, uh, North Korea can fabricate the centrifuge for uh, enriching uranium by themselves without uh, or other uh, assistance by a foreign country. And the third, you say the, about the safety issues on on Chinese. Yeah, we really concerned about that. Really concerned about the the the, the safety of nuclear power plants in China. You know, because of the 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 during very short time, you know, they uh, their nuclear power uh, capacity was expanded uh, so uh, re re uh, dramatically. But you know, the people who can regulate their uh, spent fuel is uh, you know limited. They need more time to be educated, or you know. For uh, for some uh, some uh, uh, peer uh, regular uh, peer uh, regulation on nuclear safety of nuclear power plant, so we are really concerned about that. And if you know uh, if there is a, uh, uh, some nuclear accident in in China, it would be an you know, impact to South Korea or even Japan, something like that. Yes, sir. <coughs> Hello, uh, here at Richard again. Um, what if um, conventional missile or uh, aircraft or uh, terrorists uh, attack nuclear power plants in North, uh, South Korea or Japan? What, what kind of, if, uh, in worst scenario, what kind of if damage that we uh, experience? Nuclear power plant, you know, the, the re uh, reactor itself is uh, contained in the uh, uh, what the containment building, so it would be a somewhat uh, uh, somewhat uh, good from a missile attack or other you know uh, other uh, military attack. But the spent fuel is uh, contained in the pool next to the uh, uh, 
react building. You know, this is really uh, uh, vulnerable uh, from a uh, uh, physical uh, protect, uh, physical attack by missiles or other things. Then, but the, if you know that kind of uh, accident happened, then the the this accident would be a uh, uh, several times uh, severe than you know a react accident because it contains more uh, spent fuel, you know, than the the react the react core itself. Yes, sir. My name is Satsu Mahara and I'm an associate member. Uh, about the spent fuel, you had the recommendation. You know, as you said right now, it's uh, the core, the, the react itself is protected very well. Yeah. So I've heard that it can even uh, toward even, even the atomic bomb uh, hit the core, the reactor. Yeah, yeah. It, could, it, could be, it, it, yeah. it could be fairly safe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you said that the spent fuel is very vulnerable. Yes. But it's still, sp and uh, it was, uh, s it was uh, proven in Fukushima. Yeah. Is there in the international society that <laughs> such a dangerous uh, spent fuel uh, storage all over the world? I, I understand. And uh, is there any movement? You made a recommendation, but is there any movement to rectify that and uh, make a regulation to? Uh, to make a storage safe? Uh, yes, uh, even US NRC, you know, uh, do about this uh, uh, spent fuel to fire consequences, but they do not, uh, you know, recommend uh, the, their uh, utilities uh, for, you know, to, uh, to, to move the spent fuel to the uh, dry cask because it, they, they, are, they, they ridiculously, you know, the, the spent fuel profile, they went considering this. They only, you know, uh, think about the, the natural hazard, uh, earthquake or uh, tsunami or the other thing. Is, uh, uh, but they think that, that, you know, that kind of uh, uh, natural hazard, then the, the probability of the uh, spent fuel profile would be uh, very s uh, small. For example, 10 to the minus 6, something like that. And then, you know, if you, uh, the, the, the scale of accident would be huge, but if you uh, multiply the consequence and the, the probability of uh, the, the occurrence, then you, you have a small or modest uh, result. But this is a big pr problem. So the Professor uh, Frank Van Hipper of Princeton University asked the, the US NRC uh, staff, what is the probability of a terror or sabotage or other you know, attacks? Then the, their answer is very ridiculous. And uh, what did, did they say, say is you know, they don't know about the probability of terror or sabotage or that. So they assumed zero <laughs> of that. <laughs> It's, it's very ridiculous. So if you know, uh, if this kind of accident happen, it really happen, right? So we need to hurry, you know, to, to more or, or emphasize the safe storage of spent fuel. Okay. Thank you. So, so there's you make your recommendation, but there's no. At the moment, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, people should. Uh, this is uh, unfortunate thing. We're coming close to the end of our hour. Are there any other questions? If not, we'll uh, thank our guest for the day and uh, dis you're dismissed. Thank you very much. Thank you.